Hi, my name is Jeff Frederick, and I'm a senior solutions engineer for the federal and public sector team at Ubico. I'd like to speak with you today about the key role strong authentication plays in securing remote government workers and related best practices that you can use to ensure mission continuity. With COVID-19, remote work is the new normal, creating security implications for federal agencies and employees alike. Having your entire workforce work from home while trying to ensure mission continuity and security is difficult. The traditional security perimeter, which was once your building, has now expanded to a network of residential homes and public spaces. And the risks are even higher where there are authentication gaps related to the CAC and the PIV card. Ensuring that every remote worker has a CAC or a PIV for strong authentication is costly. And in fact, many of your employees may not even be eligible for a CAC or a PIV and are using less secure forms of authentication to connect to your networks. COVID-19 has increased threat vectors because hackers typically thrive in times of crisis. There's been many incidents of COVID-19 related cybercrime since the health crisis took hold. Even something simple like an email attachment related to COVID-19 can install malware onto the devices of your remote workers. When you think about how we all work today, it boils down to three key areas, people, places, and technology. You have home offices that are typically less secure because they may be shared. Now the employee's children are going back to school and may be using work devices for schoolwork. Then you have people who are tackling a new way of living and working. They make mistakes and it's easy to fall prey to a phishing attack, giving up personal data or worse, federal government data. The technology at the home for the average remote worker is typically not as secure as the office. Wireless routers may not be that secure or an, an infected device may connect to their home network. Home technology isn't set up to mitigate remote work-related cyber threats. So let's look at the alternative authenticators to the PIV and the CAC. On this slide, you can see the visuals of straw, wood, and bricks. You may be familiar with the children's story where the big bad wolf blows down the straw house, has some trouble blowing down the wood house, but just can't get past the brick house. On the left-hand side, we have username and password. Most breaches are caused by hackers breaching passwords stored on servers or by credential phishing. In the center, you have basic multi-factor authentication, mostly consisting of mobile-based authenticators, which aren't purpose-built for security. These types of authenticators are susceptible to things like malware on a device and sw SIM swapping attacks. And they don't completely eliminate or prevent account takeovers. On the right-hand side is the brick house. This is strong authentication that is purpose-built for security, is phishing resistant, and protects against account takeovers. While any MFA is better than username and password, they are not all created equal. If you look at the blue area at the bottom of the graph, you will see authentication techniques from the straw and wood houses on the previous slide username and password, and basic multi-factor authentication. These are highly fishable, low security, and don't offer a great user experience. Smart cards, like the CAC and the PIV on the top left corner, offer the strongest security, but are expensive and complex to set up because remote workers need to have a CAC or a PIV reader and possibly middleware. Strong MFA that has been accelerating in recent years are the hardware security keys. These are well balanced in providing the highest level of security and also offering the best user experience. Hardware security keys are proven to be extremely phishing resistant and help protect against account takeovers. So what are the best practices to secure remote workers against account takeovers? There are three key use cases to pay attention to to bolster security for your remote workforce. The first is enabling multi-factor authentication for identity, credential, and access management systems 
as well as identity providers. Many of these providers offer, offer native support for hardware security keys. So if you're using Duo, Okta, or Ping, you can strengthen your authentication posture by simply turning on MFA and using security keys. That's the first place to start to secure your remote workers. Keep in mind that these ICAM and IDP vendors can also be used for single sign-on for other apps such as video conferencing and chatting. So if you're using Zoom or Teams or Hangouts, you can enable that right now. The next case is securing VPN access with multi-factor authentication. If you're using things like Pulse Secure or Cisco AnyConnect, these can be configured right now to work with security keys. If you have users VPNing into the network and you want to think about a higher form of security, then username and password. And lastly, securing desktop or other computing devices, whether they are Mac, Windows, Linux, or even VDI or virtual desktop solutions. You can use the smart card functionality along with a pin to ensure secure access to these devices. At Ubico, we produce the YubiKey. We provide six individual MFA comp uh, components on one physical key. So you can use the FIDO and WebAuthn so solution that we offer that is as strong as a PIV or a CAC. You can also use the PIV or CAC capability. We also provide a mobile 2FA on a key and RSA style OTP tokens. In addition, we can do static password and open PGP. And all of these capabilities are available on the same YubiKey. We need to consider securing identities in the cloud as well. Using a YubiKey, we can easily configure both PKI and FIDO authentication to your web services and, and cloud services and assets in both AWS, Microsoft Azure, as well as other things like Google Cloud Provider, et cetera. Meritalk's recent report, Multi-Cloud Defense, Redefining the Cyber Playbook, surveyed 150 federal cybersecurity managers to explore multi-cloud cybersecurity challenges and opportunities. And they found that the vast majority of agencies, around 83%, are increasing their multi-cloud adoption to support telework and mission needs related to COVID-19. However, while that adoption is increasing, so are the cybersecurity challenges. Nearly half of the respondents, about 42%, said their cyber strategies just can't keep pace with the evolving multi-cloud environments. We also need to secure our mobile devices and enable bring your own device for your end users. So leveraging NIST 800-157 compliant derived credential solutions, those credentials can be provisioned to the YubiKeys and the credentials stored on the YubiKey, not on the device. This will enable your workforce with a FIPS 140-2 level two approved authenticator that can be used in many places. And since we bind the identity to the authenticator instead of the mobile device, introducing BYOD and shared device scenarios now becomes viable. And of course, we support those user-driven workflows to minimize the overhead. So how does the security key work? Well, depending on, on how you're using it, you might enter your username and password like you would. Then you would insert your YubiKey and touch the disk to provide that public private key cryptographic challenge. If you're using the smart card capability, you would just stick the YubiKey into the machine like you would a smart card and enter your pin for your authentication process. We also work with mobile devices. We have NFC enabled YubiKeys for use with Android and iOS and uh, Apple phones, as well as the lightning connector that can be plugged into a iPhone or iPad to use the capabilities of the YubiKey. Our YubiKeys are FIPS 140-2 validated. Our current four series is validated under certificate 3517, and our new YubiKey 5 series and its HSM2 components are undergoing the FIPS process as we speak. So we meet the most stringent authenticator assurance level three requirements and we combine all three capabilities into one physical device. 
and we help you meet your federal guidance on DFARS or NIST 171 uh, and OMB 1917, which allows for secondary authenticators. We are widely deployed across the federal government. Many agencies, both on the civilian side and the DOD side, are currently using YubiKeys to secure their mission needs and requirements, especially related to COVID-19 work from home and telework. So we recently launched a set of services to help you rapidly de deploy YubiKeys to remote workers, UB Enterprise Subscription and UB Enterprise Delivery. UB Enterprise Subscription offers flexible subscription pricing and UB Enterprise Delivery helps get the keys out directly into the hands of your remote and distributed workforce. We work with Sebastian Tech Solutions and deliver to any country that is not identified as banned by the US Department of State. These are both complementary services and you can choose one or both of them as needed to meet your requirements. Strong authentication is, in, is the need of the hour for remote workers. Yubico can help you secure your remote workforce using the YubiKey, offering strong authentication, an easy user experience, and quick, efficient delivery. Learn more on the Federal Government Solutions page at yubico.com. Thank you for your time today. The YubiKey is the physical key to your digital security. Working seamlessly across desktops and mobile, it provides strong authentication to identity and access management platforms and hundreds of other systems and applications. Let's see how easily a user can securely access company resources with Okta right from their mobile device. First, the user launches the phone's browser, navigates to the Okta site, and then they click Login. When prompted, the user simply taps their YubiKey to the back of the phone to securely authenticate. This leverages the NFC capabilities of the YubiKey 5 NFC to authenticate the user. Once logged in, the user can launch any corporate application without additional login prompts. Strong security, fast and easy user experience, high security ROI. That's the YubiKey promise for secure remote access. The YubiKey is the physical key to your digital security and provides strong authentication seamlessly across desktops and mobile. Our computers store a lot of important corporate information. The YubiKey can be used as a smart card to secure login access to computers and protect data. Once a user registers the YubiKey to the domain, they can simply plug in the YubiKey, type in a PIN to authenticate to the desktop, and the user's in. Alternatively, when the user is on a computer, they can launch the Citrix Workspace app to get to the virtual desktop and access all the data and applications they need to be productive. This allows for secure access to corporate data with the ability to modify it locally. Strong security, fast and easy user experience, great ROI. That's the YubiKey promise for secure remote access. The YubiKey is the physical key to your digital security and delivers strong authentication across desktops, mobile, and applications. Remote users can use the YubiKey to securely sign in to their VPN application and access corporate resources. Let's use Cisco AnyConnect as an example. Securely access the VPN by launching the VPN client, plugging the YubiKey into the Mac, enter in username and password, and touch the YubiKey and the user is in. The unique one-time passcode is automatically generated from the YubiKey without the user having to physically type in a long code. Now that the user is connected, they can secure email from home using any VPN and collaborate with others as easily as if they were in the office. Strong security, fast and easy user experience, great ROI. That's the YubiKey promise for secure remote access.